So this is an update video because someone asked for it. So I started learning German in October 2020 with the mass immersion approach method after I had seen a video on YouTube of a man learning Arabic in one year. So I was like, okay, let me try it with German. <clears throat> and mind you, I knew a bit of German before that, but not enough to speak or to understand. Like I just knew basic, uh, you know, basic things that you would learn in an A1 class or in, you know, greetings and personal pronouns and stuff like that. So I started watching TV shows in German with German dub, dubs without any subtitles or anything. And my goal was 750 hours of input, comprehensible input, active immersion. So, and I, then I would be fluent. But after I reached that, the closer I was getting to 750, the more I was realizing, oh, shit, <laughs> like I'm not fluent. This is, I don't think I'll be fluent when I reach my goal. So anyways, I reached my goal in less than a year. I was doing like more than two hours per day. In the beginning, it's very stressful and just, it's like psychologically messes you up because you know, you watch videos in 1.5 speed <laughs> or if you, you just find something curious and you want to watch then you feel guilty because you could be immersing in that time so it's kind of psychologically not the best but i still did it like sometimes i was doing three hours a day in the beginning i was like doing 15 minutes 20 minutes and that was like so difficult now i could watch german the whole day and it's not even you know i i watch it for a uh, pleasure so just for relaxing, not for immersion, Im not for learning a language, acquiring it. <clears throat> so after I reached 750 hours, I was like, what am now what am I going to do? I cannot just stop. I could already understand quite a bit of German. You know, the thing, I was watching TV shows and then some things didn't make sense. First, I started watching like the, the ones I had watched when I was a kid. So... Avatar, The Last Airbender, Jimmy Neutron, and, you know, some Simpsons. So I kind of was, I kind of was aware of what was happening. But later, I started watching new shows that I'd never seen in German. I mean, dubbed in German. And, of course, there was words that I wouldn't understand. But So I then I just kept going, just uh, listening more and more. And I think I reached a thousand hours. I'm gonna put that on the screen because I used I had an Excel sheet of everything that I watched and then I had another notes note where I was tracking the stuff that I wasn't tracking. Crazy, I know I was like so I reached this amount of number of hours and yeah, now the thing is in the beginning I was my goal was to be fluent. So I think until now it's you can skip if you don't care anymore but this is just some personal opinion opinions i was thinking i'm gonna be fluent i'm gonna like my goal was basically for me to speak german and for germans to not know that i'm not a native speaker <laughs> which is very and might i add an extra very unlike unlikely <laughs> unlikable <laughs> because i speak english fluently i at least that's my opinion. I speak fluent English, but English speakers can tell immediately that I'm not a native speaker. It's not that I have a bad accent, you know, like I don't have an accent that people can tell, oh, you have this Slavic accent or that thing, that other French accent, you know, but I still don't have an American ac accent. I have neither an American one nor a British one and a, nor an Australian accent. But I just don't speak like a native speaker, even though I'm fluent. So what would, I don't know what I was thinking that I'm, I would be able to speak German as a native speaker. But after I made the, that realization, I was kind of, oh shit, I don't know, I just wasted like two years <laughs> learning German. <laughs> but... Uh, Actually, no, because right now I live in Germany and I don't think I'd have a problem 
the thing sometimes I watch reality shows in German <laughs> just for fun so you know what you know you're comfortable in the language when you just watch content for fun you know so I've been watching some reality shows in German I usually don't really like reality TV but hey so I was watching Temptation Island <laughs> I don't know if these exist in American speaking countries I know Big Brother is but so I was watching some of them and they're quite a bit tougher to understand because I don't, they just speak um, sometimes the mic doesn't catch the separate the individual sentences or they speak fast or they say some slang and I'm like damn fuck <laughs> but you know I was watching actually Temptation Island on YouTube I to wrap it up okay because I'm recording this video later than I recorded the previous one so I'm not really sure where I left off but to wrap it up I didn't use Anki I didn't use the space repetition system for like if that works for because I know that is very popular in the language community but that's for me that for me is uh, death like that's, that's gotta be the most boring thing I mean I did try it for like I don't know like one day I think and then I stopped because no <laughs> it's, it's, it all depends on what you find fun for example I love learning grammatic I know some people hate it so if you like Anki or something and that you think that makes you more responsible or helps you then of course but I didn't do it so it and I was like okay can I even learn new words without using a spaced repetition system because I most of the people I was watching most <laughs> all of the people I was watching were using it so I was like I really really don't feel like using it but would it be successful if I didn't but I know it would because I have friends who have learned other languages just from listening and watching TV. But back to what I was saying about the Temptation Island. There was a guy that was from, uh, he was Slavic. I'm not sure which one, which country. But And every time he was speaking, they used, they would put subtitles under the screen. But not when the Germans, the Germans would speak. And I wouldn't understand that. Not because I didn't understand the words, but just... You know, sometimes the mic would rub or just, uh, do you know what I mean? Not because I didn't understand the words, but I just couldn't hear them. And they wouldn't put subtitles there. But for the Slavic, for the foreigner, they would. So that was a bit weird. And...